Alright, so in today's video, I wanted to go over a topic that I feel myself I've been struggling with and I've been working to improve, as well as I've seen a lot of questions about how to improve it, and that is game sense. Now, game sense is very hard to really explain and really like teach in a video. It's kind of something you have to teach yourself. Now, there are spots and angles I can teach you to like, you know, pre fire, pre play C4, stuff like that, which I'll talk about more in the video. But generally, game sense comes from just playing. You need to be able to play a lot, get killed from certain spots, learn your mistakes, and then use it either against your enemy or in order to pre fire it or just be ready for it. So, in today's video, I figured I'd just go into it with certain angles, C4s, drones, and just how to even go about hearing your game sense. Now starting off with the first thing I feel like that helps your game sense a lot is definitely pre-firing certain angles and just knowing the angles that people are gonna be on. Now I'm gonna show you two examples and one of them is me and one of them is a pro league match of TSM versus Tempo Storm recently with just certain things that gets pre-fired and like how you understand how game sense generally works and how you improve it like I said. So first I'm gonna show you my clip and then I'll show the pro league clip. Now in this clip I am in the bathroom and I'm waiting for a push. Now you see Zofia clearly comes in, she joins out but she just messes up. But here you see I pre-fire this because I think, okay, I know people up here that could be holding the angle like right there, how he shoots and he knows. Now I'm in a, not a good spot but not a terrible spot because I'm still covered by this. And now once I get spotted I pre-fire it and move and rotate. So that way if he's pushing me or on that angle, I'm going to kill him or if he's going to go push while I'm spotted. He's now going to either run to my bullets or stop pushing. That's why pre-fires help a lot as well. Because you'll have to either stop the push or make them walk into your bullets. Now at this point, I couldn't really move because the, the, like, the main wall was open to my left. So I kind of had to sit here and just get into my ones and either win them or lose them at this point. So run 4-4 or OT. So I'm waiting for someone to come through the door as my teammate watches the other wall. Now, I think it's a Thatcher that comes through first. Yeah, Thatcher comes in first, he drops a bomb. Now I have to swing because I know she's gonna pre-fire the corner. So I kill her. Now this is what I mean by pre-firing certain angles. I hear somebody over here and I know people always go to that angle on the bed. So I pre-fire a crouch head like angle and get the kill. Now that's the number one thing what I'm talking about. Just certain spots you will learn as you play more, as you die to them. You're like, all right, I'm gonna pre-fire that just in case it's there. And then you do that again, I'll show you. Now for our next clip, this is what I meant by Pro League earlier. In the most recent match between Tempo Storm and TSM, there was it was Bolo and he had, you know, a G8 of course, and he came around the corner and pre-fired Mesha like I'll show you in this clip. Now this is what I mean by you have to know certain angles and just know to pre-fire them and how much it really can impact around in your game sense. It's on the inside of 90 book bookcase and is gonna be able to pick one up for himself. Bolo does the same thing and wow, very quickly follows it through onto Crazy. I think even he was a little surprised he got that second one there, but beautiful stuff from Bolo to finish off the round and continue to push TSM further and further forward. They put themselves very close now to match point. Sometimes it's just as simple as you, you gotta win your ones. That's that's really it. It's just a lot of gunfights going TSM's way. Bolo, very heads up play with his pre fires. He knows where those default angles are, obviously. And he's able to get three kills because of it. That and a, a G8. G and that's why I pre fire. Because pre firing helps get so many kills, which, is, which increases your game sense. And the way you increase that game sense is not just by only pre firing, but pre firing in the right spots. Now, clearly, as you see, he pre fires the hard left default corner. People call it default stuff like, oh, that's default plant or that's default corner. Like people will know that because that's people like from playing, they know the game sense, they know what they're going to do. The best way, like I said, to improve your game sense is just keep playing, get killed by certain spots, use certain spots, see what works, see what doesn't work, and just keep playing. Like that is seriously the best way to help your game sense on that term. Now, another thing to help with game sense is free place C4s. Now, the reason for having a pre-play C4 is either you know people are generally going to go there or you have a valve cam there and you already have it there so you can just explode it right when they're there or just know they're there and just kill them. Now certain spots like that for example would be on Outback on Bull. Now a lot of people when pushing that site will go on the Bull head glitch when they're going to move into games area and you can put a C4 below there around kitchen area and when you either hear them there or you see them on the valve cam there or an echo drone or whatever type of camera you're using or just hearing you know explode it there you go done now the best way to even either get rid of that is just know where it's going to be so have an iq come in and check for it or go below 
Now, another spot that I use it on is on border in CCTV. I put it behind the desk, uh, right in detention. Like I go under the detention and just throw it up there and use my Valcam in there and just get a free kill like literally every time that they push that way. Pre-placed C4s help so much, but you also need to know where they can possibly be. And how did I learn from them? Well, I died from them. And then I'm like, oh, okay, let me make sure that doesn't happen again. Because that's the best thing that you need to do. And it's just the whole thing with Siege is the way you increase your game sense. Like I said, every single time is just playing a lot and losing and dying and just learning from those mistakes and not making them again. And that's literally how I've learned so many angles, so many kill like spots, just everything. It's just all from getting killed by it and then using that myself. That's why I watch a lot of Pro League to help my game sense too. I see how they get kills and then I try and use it myself in my own gameplay. And that's what I recommend for you too. Not only Pro League, but other YouTubers that are better than you, other people that are better than you. Just put an ego aside and just seriously try and learn different spots and angles. Now the last thing I wanted to cover to really help your game sense is use your utility. Now by that, I mean, let's say you have a Claymore and or a Nomad, whatever you have, and you need to use that like as much as you possibly can. Like you need to know certain runouts that you're gonna use them on and you need to just use them. Because that's another thing that helps a lot with game sense is generally knowing runouts and knowing where people can run out of. Now, for example, on border, a common place that you're gonna put a Claymore is on bedroom like window. Because people jump out of bedroom window all the time. They'll hit the two hit the barricade and then jump out right when anyone's pushing the CC window, construction site window, and you get a free kill most of the time. So if you place a claymore there, you now know, okay, they can't run out or they're gonna die to that. Just like on consulate, if you're gonna be pushing up into like on the windows and you don't want anyone to run out of uh, the stairs, you just place a claymore by the window or the door. It's stuff like that that increases your game sense. You just need to always be thinking of, oh, how can, how can I stop a run out? How can I prevent something else bad from happening with my utility? That's why, just like for IQ, for example, how can I prevent something bad from happening? Okay, let me check for pre-play C4. Let me check for valve cams. Let me check for echo drones. Anything you can possibly do. That's why I play IQ a lot, because I like to really help myself and help my team try and figure out everything as well as I feel like IQ kind of helps your game sense because it's always keeping you aware and helping you think, okay, hold on, let me do this. Let me look for a valve camera. Let me look for a C4. Let me look for a mute. Let me look for a bandit. You know what I mean? Like go up top, know when to do certain things because that's what I'm generally working on right now. I feel I am a very good player, but I lack game sense. It doesn't mean I have bad game sense. It just means I lack it compared to my other attributes. Now, like I said, best way that you can really improve that is do what I'm doing. Watch Pro League. Watch better players. Play a lot, learn from your mistakes, and don't get mad over it. Just try and not to do it again, or try and use that spot. Just figure out what works. Hold certain angles, see if you get killed from it. If it doesn't, if it works, use it again. It's all about just playing and just keep pushing. And just don't just like get mad and stop playing. Like you, this game has such a large skill gap, and there's so much to learn. There's such a huge skill curve, and just this, it's crazy. And that's why you just have to play so much to learn from different mistakes. And after you play so much and keep dying to them, you won't make that mistake again, most likely. I mean, maybe one more time, or two more times, that's it. Usually I make a mistake, it doesn't happen again. I remember, okay, don't do that again. And that's the best way that you have to be. You just have to play this game and just learn from every mistake you possibly can make. So overall, at the end of this, the best way to improve your game sense is know about certain angles people are going to be on. And you can fix that out by droning if you can't drone it out. You just know certain angles from playing and you learn from them. Also, pre-placed C4s. Use IQ to find them. Use them yourself with spots that I provide you with or watch other people and use them to your own will and advantage. Now, just like I said also, drone everything out. You can always check for them from below. But like I said again, overall, the number one thing to improve your game sense because this is something you can't really just learn. You have to really just do. Just play the game. That's all you have to do. Just keep playing the game. But I hope I helped you. I know I may have repeated myself like five times. But that's just the truth. Like I just, I'm just trying to get like, drilled into your head. And just so you understand. Like you just got to play this game. And just keep like making mistakes and learning from them. But I did hope you enjoy. And leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you want anything else. Or any other tips. Any other videos. Just let me know. We're almost at 4K, so please, if you could help, just drop a sub. I would greatly appreciate it. 
I hope all of you have a great day. Peace.